there is my aqua conic system my proof of concept and as you can see it's filling in right here and that's coming from down this white pipe to that black tube down into my pond which is just the pump I was using originally and it sucks that up into that tube up through here you can regulate it right there which you need to do to get your siphon perfect I've learned right there's where it comes in pretty slow trickle and that right there is my bell siphon okay it's starting now so now here it goes starts a little drip until it gets a good siphon right here on that as you can see if you take it off now and this 20 gallon canister will be drained out pretty doggone quick I'm going to cascades down back into my pond and then back up again repeat I can suck it comes out of there pretty quick. Drains in about a minute. Takes it 10 to 12 to fill up, which I guess is perfect. So I'll add all these little clay balls that I got at a hydroponic store in here. And then that will be my aquaponic plant bed. I'll grow whatever. It fills it up slowly, bringing all the fish waste from below into here, and then it drains it out, leaving all the good stuff connected to your media that the plant can consume. And then it drains out, which gives the plant an opportunity to collect oxygen in its roots, unlike hydroponics where the roots would sit in the water all the time. So. There you go, there's my proof of concept. You can see it starting to fill back up again. And it'll repeat. Time to expand. Okay, so here's my bell siphon. That's just two inch PVC with some holes for the air to get into and a cover. And then down here, that's just a one inch that was expanded up from three quarter and I used some electrical conduit fittings to make my connection to my hole. That, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's how that goes. And then follows back out to the drain. So basically is what happens is that fills it in and then when it gets to here to where it's going to go up over down this drain this is bigger so that water will make a circular motion go down that hole it's going to realize when this is on here see those lines are going to be submerged under water it's going to realize a pressure change and it's going to create a siphon and it's going to suck that water out of there drain it and that'll cascade down into my pond and then from the lower pond sucks it back up that pipe put that little I don't know if you can see it or not that little red handle there on there because uh, my pump is pretty powerful and I need to pull my trickle down a little bit so that helped me regulate it a little bit it's one of those things you play with so there you go media put that in there there's the noob hi the noob what you doing friend <laughs>